Oh. Now, when you're the Pope, not only is you like the head of the church and all that business, but you're also like the president of some kind of a country or something like that that only, only exists in a house, right? <laughs> the Vatican. That, isn't that the story? Like the Vatican is sort of its own country yeah, or something, something like city. that. That's he right. Is the, city. He is the mayor of his own uh, city that exists in a country that is a different country than in, in which the city he is in. Yeah. Whoa. Fascinating. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Italy has, doesn't have shit on us. We can do whatever the fuck we want in there. Diplomatic immunity. Do you have to... Do you ever take advantage of that? Hell yeah, we'll go right up to the border of the Vatican in yeah. Rome, you know? Yeah. And we'll, we'll do like jack-offs, you know, like we'll pretend like we're jacking off into Rome on their side. Boy, oh boy. Wow. Couldn't get away with that in the time of the Roman Empire, right? They go crazy. Your former holiness, have you ever stood uh, with one foot in Vatican City and the other in uh, Italy and Hell said, yeah. look, I'm in two places at the same time? Yeah, that's hilarious. Oh, and, yeah. then, and then the Roman uh, police, they kind of, they try to run up and grab you and arrest you. And, I, and right when they get there, I pull my leg over and it's too late. Yeah, <laughs> I'm in the Vatican. You Vatican can't come over here. <laughs> that's another joke. That's right a good one. Too, I like it. Yeah. Now you did. Uh, what are you wearing these days? Uh, can I say because? Uh, and who are you wearing? <laughs> who, who are you wearing? Because um, you know the Pope has a very specific thing he's allowed to wear. It's a lot of confusion for me because he's like his true Pope now. You know? Can you? Why is that so bad? Should that should Clinton is still alive? Yeah, he's I the think president. That's you want him to die? That's a mistake, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, of you course. You should think they should kill the presidents off. I think you should probably have to be the president until you die. Is my mm-hmm. view on it. You know, in which case we would still be enjoying uh, Jimmy Carter. Right? <laughs> yeah. He no. was the most enjoyable of the presidents. And no homeless people would have any place to live, but because, they, you know what I'm saying? He's been building the houses. Oh, that's yeah. right. <laughs> Presumably he wouldn't have time for that if he was still president. <laughs> now I understand. Right? Although if uh, he was still president, Reagan yeah. would not have been elected, and so there would be fewer homeless people oh. on the street. But hold on. He would never have been president because uh, presidents before him would have not died at the time of his election. Oh, that's true. So it, we could very well have been in a General Ford administration or Richard Nixon um, or a future president who is not yet determined because of the time warp. It becomes difficult to figure out. We would have to, and it might be worth our time to do it, to figure out how long did George Washington die and when he died, who would really have probably taken over at that time. You'd have to look at... I believe, what was happening. Uh, yes, I believe the first uh, president, uh, George Washington, died at 29. Yeah. He was 29 years old. Yes. Yeah, the second one died at 33, though. In those days, it was all gum disease. That was, uh, I, it, all gum I disease. I think it would have yeah. been Betsy Ross. She would have been th- not only the first female president, but the first president. And how Betsy would you Ross be okay with that? You'd be okay with that, the pop? You know what? I would, because it's America, and it's another reason to point over here and go, look how fucked up it is over there. Well, you know, of course, over in Germany, we have a president with scare bags, and oh. everything's going fine, you know, and we've had her for a long time. Angela Merkel. Yeah, yeah. We dated for a while. Is that right? Yeah, oh, no. She hates back rubs. She does. Yeah, especially when I wear my um, su- special type of clothes. Um, where where is tricky? More like produce them from underneath my nails. Yeah. Uh, have you ever seen an automatic garage door opener? Sure. Imagine ten miniature ones, and those on your fingers come open, and out comes not a car, but more of a little, um, like a quill point, so it's hollow and can inject a type of venom. But anyway. <laughs> Where were we? Why was I imagining that? I I don't know. That could be one of your non documentaries, Vonner. Yeah. Edward Garage (laughs) Control Hand. I I uh, I like that because it is a synthesis of uh, a human being with uh, science. Yeah, uh, it takes a man uh, away from the natural and more into uh, the scientific, the cold, yeah. clinical. Yeah, uh, it's all my thesis of everything. We should uh, do a collabo. Yeah. Science is hilarious. (laughs)